shell, banana, leaf, lightning, bell, turnip, acorn, moon, boomerang, blue shell, or I don't really care anymore. Mario Kart has retro tracks. Tracks from previous Mario Karts remastered be playable in the new game's mechanics. Originating in Mario Kart Super's DS, some retro tracks are... Um... How do I... They're terrible. Just look at this. So like I've done last time, and the time before that, I'll be making Mario Kart's retro tracks better, because nobody has ever done this, ever, besides me. I'm not gonna change anything from Mario Kart DS, so I'm just gonna say what the retro tracks I picked out last year are, which are SNES Mario Circuit 1, N64 Moo Moo Farm, GCN Dry Dry Desert, and GBA Riverside Park. GCN Luigi Circuit, SNES Donut Plains 1, N64 Frappe Snowland, and GBA Bowser Castle 2, SNES Koopa Beach 2, N64 Choco Mountain, GBA Luigi Circuit, and GCN Mushroom Bridge, and finally GCN Yoshi Circuit, GBA Sky Garden, N64 Banshee Boardwalk, and SNES Rainbow Road. Okay, and now with Mario Kart Wii. Just as a reminder, there has to be 4 GBA, GameCube, and DS tracks, and 2 N64 and SNES tracks. I was looking at the retro tracks to see if anything needed changes, and originally I wasn't even going to change anything, but then I looked at the Lightning Cup. GBA Lakeside Park and GCN DK Mountain in the same cup, but they're both mountain tracks. So I guess I'll replace GBA Lakeside since DK Mountain was already in the game. So we need a new GBA track, and I've decided to go with Snowland because I think it's a good track. However, then we would have two retro snow tracks. Well, Sherbet Land is more of an ice track, but whatever. But since I like Snowland, I've decided to get rid of Sherbet Land. But more on that in 15 seconds. The Lightning Cup now has GBA Snowland, DS Peach Gardens, GCN DK Mountain, and N64 Rainbow Road. But I don't think Snowland belongs in the Lightning Cup. So I'll swap GBA Cheeseland with it. Now about the N64 tracks. I'm moving SNES Ghost Valley 2 to the Banana Cup to make room for the beginning track. In Mario Kart DS, the first retro track was the first track of the first game. So how about for Mario Kart Wii, the first retro track is the first track from the second game, that being N64 Luigi Raceway. So instead of being in Mario Kart 7's Shell Cup alongside Luigi's Mansion, it would appear in Mario Kart Wii's Shell Cup. And so the new retro tracks for Mario Kart Wii are N64 Luigi Raceway, DS Yoshi Falls, GCN Peach Beach, and GBA Snowland, GBA Shy Guy Beach, DS Delfino Square, SNES Ghost Valley 2, and GCN Waluigi Stadium, SNES Mario Circuit 3, DS Desert Hills, GCN Mushroom City, and GBA Bowser Castle 3, and finally, GBA Cheeseland, DS Peach Gardens, DK Mountain, and N64 Rainbow Road. So for Mario Kart 7, a reminder that there are 4 Wii NDS tracks and 2 tracks from the rest of the games. Okay, so we finally don't have 2 Luigi tracks in the Shell Cup with Luigi Racer being a retro track in Mario Kart Wii. So we need another basic track to start off the Shell Cup. With GBA Rainbow Road being the last track, why don't I do the same thing I did in Mario Kart Wii and have the first and last tracks from the same game? Meaning that I'll be adding GBA Peach Circuit as the first track of the Shell Cup. Then for the second track, I'll be bringing back N64 Calamari Desert. Then we need one more SNES track for the Leaf Cup. I was originally going to use SNES Ghost Valley 3, but we just got a Ghost Valley for Mario Kart Wii, so I'll use a theme that hasn't been used yet. So the first track of the Leaf Cup will be SNES Choco Island 1. It's basic, but I think it fits. And then the Banana and Lightning Cups are unchanged. So the tracks for Mario Kart 7 are GBA Peach Circuit, N64 Calamari Desert, Wii Mushroom George, and DS Luigi's Mansion. N64 Koopa Troopa Beach, SNES Mario Circuit 2, Wii Coconut Mall, and DS Waluigi Pinball. Choco Island 1, DS DK Pass, GCN Daisy Cruiser, and Wii Maple Treeway. And finally for the Lightning Cup, we have Wii Koopa Cape, GCN Dino Dino Jungle, DS Airship Fortress, and GBA Rainbow Road. Mario Kart 8's biggest problem was that it didn't follow the Mario Kart Retro Track rule, being balanced with four tracks from the two newest Mario Kart games. So there will be four tracks from 7 and Wii, two from Double Dash, DS, and Super Circuit, and only one from 64 and Super. With Double Dash already using one retro track on Rainbow Road, I've decided to keep Sherbert Land. I also didn't change anything with Super Mario Kart with Donut Plains 3 or DS keeping Cheap Cheap Beach and TikTok Lock while getting rid of Wario Stadium. Kinda, more on that later. 
For Wii, I kept Moo Moo Meadows and Grumble Volcano while adding Toad's Factory in the Banana Cup and Daisy Circuit in the Leaf Cup. For Super Circuit, we'll keep GBA Mario Circuit and add Sunset Wilds to replace Dry Dry Desert. And hopefully they add the Sunset this time. For 3DS, I just added Shy Guy Bazaar to the Shell Cup. And finally, for the N64 track, I'll add N64 Bowser Castle since we didn't get a Bowser Castle in base game. So the retro tracks for Mario Kart 8 are Wii Moo Moo Meadows, GBA Mario Circuit, DS Cheap Cheap Beach, 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar, GBA Sunset Wilds, SNES Donut Plains 3, Wii Toads Factory, 3DS DK Jungle, Wii Daisy Circuit, GCN Sherbert Land, 3DS Music Park, and N64 Bowser Castle, DS TikTok Clock, 3DS Piranha Plant Slide, Wii Grumpa Volcano, and GCN Rainbow Road. And finally, we get to the DLC of Mario Kart 8, and it's exactly the same as last year being. DS Wario Stadium, Excite Bike Arena, Dragon's Driftway, Mute City, GCN Baby Park, N64 Royal Raceway, Wild Woods, Animal Crossing, Wii's Wario's Goldmine, SNES Bowser Castle 2, Ice Ice Outpost, Hyrule Circuit, 3DS Neo Bowser City, GBA Ribbon Road, Super Bell Subway, and Big Blue. Well, there you have it. Two years in the making and I've finally fixed Mario Kart's Retro Tracks. I'm surprised no one else has done this. If I put a copyright on this, I wonder if I can have a monopoly on making tracks better. Eh, but I suck at math. However, I'm not done. I'm coming for you.